Hi, this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions, and today I'm going to take you through an edit of a newborn photo. This photo is from Robin Long Photography, and I'm going to use an edit from the Grace Collection today. I'm going to start out with our base workflow action, and I'm going to use light and airy on this one. And our workflow action is going to give us our base edit. And once our workflow edit there is done, we're going to add, um, I'm going to do a little yellow reduction on the baby's skin here, and I'm going to use the Brush on Action Yellow Reducer. And uh, this is from the Special Brushes collection here. You can selectively reduce yellow in your image. And I'm just going to brush it over the skin here. And I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. That reduces the color cast there. And next I'm going to fix, we've got a little bit of a purplish red foot going on here, which newborns often have. And I'm going to use the action Chameleon, and it's a custom color changing action. And I'm going to select a good part of the skin here that we want to sample from. So we see the foot's a little bit purple and we're wanting to look a little bit closer to what the arm color there is. And so I'm just going to click right here to change our color. And then we're going to use the layer mask here on the chameleon layer. And brush over the foot really quickly. And we can reduce the opacity on that. Just a second, that looks too dense of a color, uh, so we're going to reduce that down to 60%. You can also use uh, the lighten and darken layers if you need to lighten or darken the color you've changed to. And if the color is not just right, you can double click on that color icon right there and it'll bring this window up for the color picker and select anywhere you want to change it. I'm going to select over in this darker area here to give it a little bit more color closer to what the foot should be and then we see here the before and after and this is how far we are in our edit now before and after and I'm going to use uh, from the blooming light collection which is with the grace bundle the natural soft light brush on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this uh, visible window area back here and just have this background blend all the way up. And so we're going to go down to our Blooming Light set and pick the Natural Soft Light brush on. And it's going to be a pretty intense light that I want to add back there because I really want to just hide it all. So I'm going to um, brush it on where I want it. And then I'm going to open up this folder here and I'm going to turn up some of these layers so it just intensifies it. And this layer here, just like we did with our chameleon action, I'm going to double click on that and pick a slightly darker color there so it's not so blown out looking. And so there's our before and our after with that one. You see it just it blends in there. I might do a little bit more work there to make it blend a little bit easier. Now I'm going to use an action called Light as Air that's going to give an overall softness to the image. And I'm going to flatten the image first uh, to make it a little bit easier to work with. So I'm just going to select all these layers and hit Command E or Control E on a PC to just flatten all of those together. Or you could just, or you can also right click to select flatten image. And I'm going to select light as air here. And it just kind of gives a filmy softness to the whole photo. It's very, it's very subtle. You can, let's zoom in just a little bit and you can see it a little bit easier when it's zoomed in before and after. 
and this is our after, this was our before image, and our after. And that is using the Grace Collection from Paint the Moon Actions. Thank you so much for listening, and have a beautiful day.